So this question starts off with a couple of equations, and then we have this long word problem here. So I'm going to definitely be using translate word problem as a strategy to pull out any quantitative or just important information from the reading here. So the first sentence here says an exponential equation and a linear equation are given. Well, let's see. It looks like the L1 equation has a d power here, so that must be our exponential equation. So I'm going to just label that as L1 above exponential equation. And then L2 it must be our linear equation. It then says each equation estimates the luminosity in units of billions of solar luminosities. Like, you know, so whenever I see this, I kind of chuckle because, you know, what is this? What are they talking about? Not very important, more than likely. Um, probably this is going to end up being a very simple question, and they're trying to make it seem much harder than it actually is. So for a type IA supernova, D days, okay, so that's important. D represents days after its peak luminosity for D is less than or equal to 6. So, you know, D has to be less than or equal to 6. That's important as well. The luminosity in billions of solar luminosities estimated by the linear equation three days after its peak. Oh, well, that's... That's something to translate. What is the luminosity estimated by the linear equation three days after its peak? Well, the linear equation is the L2. So I'm going to say L2 is equal to 9.75 minus 0 0.83. And because it's three days after its peak, that means D is 3. So I'm going to replace that D with 3. This becomes 2.49 in my calculator. And then 9.75 minus 2.49, 9.75 minus 2.49 in the calculator, I get 7.26. So there is the luminosity um, estimated by the linear equation at day three. Is how much greater than the luminosity estimated by the exponential equation? Okay, so just what's the, what is the luminosity estimated by the exponential equation? at day three, 0 0.89 to the third. So I'm gonna just do that in my calculator um, and multiply that all by 10. And what I get here is that that is equal to 7.04969. So then the difference between those two things is 7.26 minus 7.04. 969, and I'm getting that that is equal to 0 0.21. So there is my answer. It is choice A. Don't be confused by all the luminosities of this and billions or whatever. The question literally tells us just to subtract what we get from the linear equation when d equals 3 minus what we get from the exponential equation when d equals 3.